What's up guys? Um, so as I'm recording this, my son who's three years old is watching Curious George. So if this comes through the microphone, then I guess we'll know. Um, but I kind of wanted to give an update because it's been a while of what's been going on. And uh, so it's been a pretty tough road. Um, as, as you guys may know, uh, I'm not sure if I posted this on other videos, but uh, I actually don't think I have. Um, but so we went to go get the RV in Dallas and I ended up losing my job. Uh, I used to work at a credit union as a loan officer and I, I ended up losing my job there. And so, you know, in the meantime of working at the credit union, I've always been building up um, my photography business. And uh, so that's what I do uh, pretty much full time now. Um, so it was either go, I, I was at the point where I was working full time and my photography business was getting so busy that it was also becoming a full time job. And uh, with that, it was very hard to balance the two. So, you know, it was almost, it was almost a push um, when I lost this job to go ahead and start my photography business. and focus on that and so that's what I decided to do in the meantime my wife um, got a six dollar an hour raise that just happened um, I'm a Christian so I you know that I believe that comes from God and uh, um, anyway so um, which is just absolutely crazy so that helped out that really kind of made us decide to go ahead and start pursuing photography uh, in the meantime as you can see we're still well, not as you can see, but we are still in our house. And it's September 9th, 2015. And uh, I think we bought the RV at the beginning of August. Unfortunately, we bought the RV in August, drove it from Dallas to a campground, and then back to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we spent the night at a campground about halfway. Um, Everything was fine, drove the RV, it was fun, it was great. Got to the campsite, it was nice, uh, it was an experience, we didn't have any utensils to eat, um, as, you could, as you saw, um, it was interesting. So um, anyway, we uh, start the RV the next morning, and down the road we go. Um, actually on our way to the campground, let me back up just a little bit, on our way to the campground, um, when we went grocery shopping, we parked, parked the RV and, you know, got dinner ready for that night. It was that macaroni and cheese and, and, you know, those things you warm up in a microwave. And so whenever we started the, whenever we started the RV, the engine wouldn't turn. Like the battery was dead. The engine battery was dead completely. And so I was like, that, that's kind of weird. And so I don't know a whole heck of a lot about RVs. So I started the generator. Um, and then I, uh, and then I, uh, cranked the engine when the generator started and it turned the engine on. So I thought, okay, so does the generator have to be on in order to turn on the engine? Turns out from, you know, asking questions and learning that's not the case. The engine should just fire up because the battery, like any normal car, which makes sense. Um, anyway, so we, uh, um. I thought that was weird, so I just ignored it, put it to the side, and uh, continued our trip to the campgrounds. Anyway, we walked back, or we, we turned on the engine, leaving the campgrounds to go back to Tulsa, and uh, our stair, before we could get out of the RV campground, we noticed that our stairs were out, they were extended, they didn't retract back when we closed the door like they should. And so, we thought that was kind of odd, so we tried to manually shove the, the stairs back up, um, you know, into position so we could drive and they just wouldn't budge. Like, they, it was just completely stuck. Anyway, it turns out the, uh, we got a hold of the, uh, the brother of, of who owns that campground was just driving around and noticed that we had been just in position for 15, 20 minutes wondering what we were going to do. And so, uh, you know, he finally came up and said, you guys need some help? So we said, absolutely. Uh, he, he put the stairs. What he had to do was apparently the, uh, 
a gear was was blown in the sta in the stairs. This is all within 24 hours of buying this RV. Um, so the gear was just completely gone. So he tied it up with coat hangers just so we could get on the road. And so I did a walk around the RV and uh, before we left just to take a look. And we noticed the the pipe from the generator the the that comes you know from the generator the exhaust pipe uh, to go off the side of the RV was gone it was completely missing and so you know I'll go ahead and throw in that we we bought our RV at Motorhome Specialist in Dallas Texas the number one selling RV store the biggest they promote it they're number one they're the biggest they have people come from you know, from all over the world and apparently our battery is shot from the engine the stairs won't retract. The tailpipe is just completely missing. This was all within the first 24 hours, as I've said. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this out here on the internet that, you know, that's on motorhome specialists. That, that should have been fixed. That should have been looked at better um, and things like that. So uh, anyway, we, uh, so we, we get home and we park it at my, at my wife's sister's, at Laurie's sister's house. Because uh, that's where we're gonna, you know, kind of keep it for the time being. And so, you know, we we do that, and we don't mess with it for about a week because, um, you know, I just lost my job, and I'm trying to get things squared away. I'm trying to get photography going. I'm trying to, you know, book things. My wife's starting her brand new job, so we don't mess with it for a week. And then uh, we go back just to start it up because we knew next week we we had a vacation booked. For over a year, a cruise book for over a year. So we ended up going on a cruise, and uh, but the the weekend before we left for the cruise, we decided to try to start up the car, start up the motorhome, and uh, it wouldn't start. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it like I did before, start the generator, um, and then so I could fire up the motorhome to try to figure out what's going on. And so um, turns out, whenever we hit the battery disconnect switch. Um, to leave the motorhome sitting for a week, the battery disconnect switch won't turn on. So now our house batteries, I believe, are completely shot. So it's been over a month and we have not been able to drive this motorhome because we've been, we, you know, we went on our cruise and it's just been busy. Then we went out of town. I had a, a photography gig out of state and, uh, and things like that. So, you know, here it is, a month has passed and we have not been able to move the thing. So we're going to get it jumped, or we're going to take it to get it fixed. Uh, motorhome specialist did say they would go, whatever the repair was on the motorhome, to send him the invoice, and they'll pay half of it. I'll take half of it, but I think that's ridiculous that they're not going to fix what they should uh, within 24 hours. So they gave us dead uh, house batteries. They gave us dead engine batteries. The stairs on the motorhome would retract. The tailpipe was just missing completely, so we lost it between Dallas and Tulsa. Dallas and the campground, I should say. And so that's kind of been what's going on with it. So it's been just absolutely a burden. Uh, me not having a job has put financial stress on the whole situation and on the family. Um, I've been really trying to get photography up and running. And I've been pretty successful at it, but it's just not busy enough to pay the house payment and to pay this new RV payment. So we're doing everything we can to scramble as fast as we can to sell this house. And so that's kind of where we are right now. So. Uh, I just wanted to kind of update uh, you on this. Uh, this week we'll actually probably take it to a dealer to get things looked at, to get it fixed, or whatever, because something is draining the house batteries, even if the battery disconnect switch is on. So, hey, leave a comment. We may have already found the answer by the time this video is posted, uh, but leave me a comment and let me know what you think it is. Um, it's a 2009 George, uh, Forest River Georgetown um, 350 TS, and so... Hold on, buddy. <laughs> so anyway, uh, <clears throat> does whenever you hit the battery disconnect switch, my question is, does something drain uh, the house batteries? Um, so I don't know. Uh, we're going to try uh, to do everything we can to get it fixed. And uh, I'm sending that invoice over to Motorhome Specialist in Dallas, Texas. I'm sorry, Alvarado, Texas. Alvarado, Alvarado, whatever it's called, Texas. And so... We don't know what's going on. Uh, however, also on a side note, I have been putting off getting the tags for this uh, 
motor home because I know that that's going to cost me a pretty penny and I don't have that kind of money and so I've waited and I waited I literally waited until 30 days Oklahoma has 30 days before you get a lien put on or I'm sorry you get your tags with the tag office um, or else fees start to um, be charged um, to you so I finally went yesterday and got the the license plate for the RV and the, uh, on all that good stuff so uh, nice surprise is motorhome specialist paid for the majority of that and so we only paid ninety two dollars uh, to get that done and I, here I was worried and panicking that it was going to cost me sixteen hundred dollars nineteen hundred dollars to get a uh, license plate and to get everything into our name on the title so wasn't too bad so that was a, an exciting thing so I'll try to keep things updated as possible um, the biggest concern is to um, you know we've 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 been married since 08 and it's 2015. So seven years, eight. Yeah, seven years. That's sad that I had to use, that I had to figure that out. Um, but uh, um, so it's been, uh, you know, seven years uh, since we've been married. So we've acquired a bunch of things, and we've pretty much lived in this house um, since we since we got married. So uh, we've got to sell everything. Hang on, real quick, buddy. So we have to sell everything and we have to sell this house as soon as possible because once we start full-timing, you know, financially it's going to be a heck of a lot better. We'll be all right. So it's just a matter of getting to that point. So uh, I'll try to put videos out there as soon as possible and as often as possible. Uh, so anyway, that's where we are and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to go restart Curious George for or a new episode for my son and um, he's gonna finish the sandwich so that's it that's all we got until next time adios